But just know that whatever Melissa wanted, Patrick did not approve. Hmm. Yes, that guy Baguma, he's, he was blacklisted by the Chironda company. Yes, and all his deals are never clear. It's the same thing that you're actually complaining about. I didn't know that. Well, next time, please show up, okay? It makes a difference. Actually, Patrick wouldn't have known about this whole thing of you working with Baguma. It would have been some sort of collaboration between the Sanzi and the Chirundas, which is something Melissa would have never done. I'm telling you this. Baby, I get it. Hmm? I'll, I'll do better next time. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> was your decision final? About? About us moving to the Chirunda house. Now, last time I talked to you about it, you seemed like you were having a bad day. Well, not really. But I gave it some thought. Mm. Maybe we can go. Mm -hmm. However much I hate to do it, I'm doing it for you. Mm? Thank you, baby. No <laughs> catch Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Would you like to take this to somewhere more private, like the bedroom? Okay. Yesterday we left off with hope that the Shrondas would partner with us. Any feedback from Melissa? Well, she did as she promised. Neighbor Ganya. What? What happened? Well, Patrick says we decided to work with someone, I mean Baguma, who they blacklisted. He says the guy is shrewd, he doesn't commit to anything, he doesn't fulfill anything, he doesn't even respect contracts and many other things. So that Shurundas distance themselves from any company that decides to associate with Baguma. It's not her fault. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying I should have listened to my instincts. I had a bad feeling from the very beginning. Hello? Melissa, how are you? I'm fine, Sanyu. What's up? Where are you? Oh, on my way. Is everything okay? There's something we need to talk about as a team. Please hurry. Okay. Is she coming? Yes. Mika Taba Kampala Royals to get a if you coming back home requires me to ask, can you help us find Crystal? George told me, haven't you found her yet? No. Have you gone to the police? Crystal was not supposed to leave hospital until recovery. But I didn't want her to stay there for long. She is pregnant. Now she's out there pregnant. Are you going to help us or not? Let me see what I can do. Thank you. Dembe, how are you? I'm worried, fine, sir. Aren't you bored of doing house calls and driving Melissa all along the whole day? It's my job, sir. I asked the question, aren't you bored? I find it tough. I have a job for you. Which kind? You're not going to kill anybody. Oscar's ex-wife disappeared from the sanatorium she was being kept. I want you to contact your networks and find her. Why don't you just involve police in this one? Hey, Chimale. I wouldn't be talking to you if that was an option. Sight has never been an option to you, so just involve the police. Are you going to do the job or not? Doing the job isn't a problem to me, but I just don't want to get into the trouble. Then go and do the job, and that's an order. <sighs> and that time the kid I work at. It's just that when Kwanzi messed up and we lost everything, she worked so hard to make sure that we got it back. She even sold our bed or shop. So I just can't sit here and watch your company crumble. We appreciate what you're doing to be a big girl and take care of your responsibilities. You've done well so far. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Don't cry. Hey, come here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. You don't, you don't have to feel like you've brought us into this. 
I'm out of options. We may end up having to drop the Kampala Royals deal, guys. It's a lot of work and we can't rely on temporary facilities to deliver weekly basis work. Hey, Melissa. <gasps> guys, I'm so sorry. Come here. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're an amazing person. What? 